Just how good are the new Golden State Warriors? Even though Klay Thompson tore his Achilles, the Warriors traded for a 22 point per game score in Wiggins at the deadline last year, drafted James Wiseman with the second overall pick, and then traded for a 19 point score per game in Kelly Oubre this offseason. This video shows you how well those pieces and more Warrior acquisitions will mesh next to a healthy Stephen Curry, and make sure you stick around for a prediction on the Warriors 2021 success. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to D-Flow Hoops. If you're new here, you're into basketball fan interested in NBA rankings, predictions, and stories, welcome aboard. You came to the right place. Please subscribe and click the bell so you get notified every time I post new content, which is at least twice a week. Comments or shout out to Paul answering the question by saying that Mitchell versus Murray was his favorite moment from last year. Go check out the must-see moments from 2021 after you watch this video. The Speaks Board resets at the end of this year, and the top five get yearly giveaways. The question for next video shout out is coming up. The Golden State Warriors should have been top title contenders in 2021. Unfortunately, a slight turn of events has them looking in any direction they can in order to survive in a deep Western conference. Last year, we knew the Warriors would fall off a fair bit in the standings after Clay's ACL tear in the finals, but Steph's wrist injury led the dubs to completely plummet to dead last in their conference. That gave Bob Myers and the Warriors front office the opportunity to select a franchise-altering big man in James Wiseman with the second overall pick. But any joy felt on draft day for Warriors fans was disrupted by the news of Klay Thompson tearing his Achilles during a workout. Prior to the torn ACL in the finals last year, Thompson was one of the NBA's most reliably durable players. He never missed more than nine games in a season before the 2019-20 campaign. But thankfully, after his second major injury in as many years, Clay recently underwent successful surgery to repair that torn Achilles and is expected to make a full recovery. Thompson's been ruled out for the entire 2020-21 NBA season, but as the saying goes, the show must go on, and with the moves I'm about to show you, the Warriors have done everything they can to salvage their dynasty. Before predicting where the Warriors will finish next season and how far they can go in the playoffs without Thompson, now I'll break down the deals Golden State's made to boost their chances in 2021. At the trade deadline last year, Andrew Wiggins was acquired from the Timberwolves in exchange for D'Angelo Russell, a 2021 protected first round pick, and a 2022 second round pick. In 12 games with the Warriors, Wiggins was more efficient than he was with the Timberwolves, but more notably, he provides experience scoring on the wing. The former number one pick has a hot start to the season and subsequently falls off seemingly every year, but posting 22 points per night throughout a year in the NBA is no joke of an accomplishment. Say what you want about his inconsistent seven seasons in the league, but we've never seen how Andrew Wiggins produces in a winning system. And you never know, maybe his all-star scoring output along with his ability to play off-ball on the wing could be exactly what the Warriors need next to Stefan. You also can't forget Andrew has a seven-foot wingspan, and with the Warriors' defensive culture with Draymond Green as the backbone and Curry also being an underrated defender, Andrew's going to be expected to D up. I know he didn't build up the best defensive reputation in Minneapolis, but given he's finally in a winning situation, as I said, surrounded by champions, I think we'll see Wiggins reach another level on this end. He did average 1.3 steals per game in his 12 outings rocking a Dubs jersey, and Steve Kerr should vamp Andrew's defensive focus. Overall, this was a stellar acquisition for the Warriors as they take a chance on a 25-year-old lethal scoring threat in A. Wiggins. A. Wiggins. The Warriors front office trading for Kelly Oubre Jr. came directly after the news broke that Clay was out for the entirety of 2021. In return, the Thunder will receive Golden State's 2021 first round pick, but only if it falls between number 21 and number 30 overall. If it doesn't, the Warriors will send the Thunder two second round picks. But Oubre will presumably fill Thompson's spot as Golden State's starting shooting guard joining a lineup featuring Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, and number two overall pick James Wiseman. Oubre's scoring averages have improved annually in each of his five NBA seasons. The 24-year-old averaged a career-high 18.7 points and 6.4 rebounds per game last season, 
but he didn't play again after tearing his meniscus on February 24th. The 6'7 wing's been an average shooter from most spots behind the three-point line in his career, but really struggled shooting from the right corner, where he shoots just 20.3% in his career. However, Oubre shot a career-best 35.2% from beyond the arc last season, and the Warriors need his improvement from deep to continue in order to maintain spacing on offense. Oubre's not Thompson by any stretch, but he's a capable scorer and an improving player who has the size to guard multiple positions in the Warriors. Warriors switch heavy defense. Personality-wise, he's a great fit with the Warriors. His high-energy persona on and off the court should help the chemistry of the group, but it'll be interesting to see how Oubre and Draymond's egos are going to mesh. Recently, Kelly Oubre sat down with David Aldridge of The Athletic and said, I'm one of the last few two-way players to be able to play great defense and great offense. Honestly, man, I bring a lot of fire to the court, a lot of energy. They have a lot of weapons, of course, but I'm also a weapon on offense and defense. I feel I can kind of bring that flux of just lucid, positionless basketball back to the organization. I can guard one through five. I can play the one, two, three, four, stretch four if I need to. I just want to fit seamlessly and just be the best me I can be, and that's a two-way player. From Andrew Bogut to JaVale McGee to Zaza Pachulia, Golden State's gotten used to rotating veterans veterans through the center position throughout their championship run. Other than James, Kevon Looney right now is the only center on the Warriors roster. With that in mind, Wiseman projects as a player who could legitimately be an opening night starter for Steve Kerr's squad. Standing 7'1 with a 7'5 wingspan, Wiseman won't turn 20 until March next year, and while he doesn't fit the bill of the usual presence at the position for the Warriors, his skill set is one that makes a lot of sense for the franchise. Wiseman is a super athletic big man who's flashed a ton of potential as a rim protector and rim runner in the NBA. Even in an age where some teams look to play smaller and faster, his game still translates because of his speed and potential as a perimeter shooter. He's not there yet as a shooter, but I think he will get there. Additionally, Wiseman can stuff shots with abandon, and we know the Golden State offense likes to get out in transition. James should fit right in with that. Also, the big man's going to add a significant lob threat for Curry and the other Warrior ball handlers. It's rare that a top pick gets to go to a franchise expected to immediately contend for a title, which will also allow Wiseman to play a role with reduced expectations. Right before predicting the Warriors 2021 success, Golden State also got Stephen Curry some depth at the guard spots by signing both the former Celtic Brad Wanamaker and also the former Sacramento King, but a man who just played with the Warriors in 2012-14 to in Kent Bazemore. Firstly, Brad Wanamaker is a crafty 31-year-old guard who just played his first two seasons in the NBA in Boston as he played the majority of his career overseas. Wanamaker will be the Dubs' backup PG, and his under-control finishing ability, combined with his playmaking and decent speed, should allow him to fill the Sean Livingston role nicely. But in Bazemore, the Warriors are getting back the most iconic bench celebrator in league history, but a man who's also significantly improved since his first tenure in the Bay. Kent stuck around in the league for eight years for a reason, and that's because he's a pesky defender who can block shots and get into offensive players' grill. Offensively, Kent can make plays off the dribble from time to time, so I think he'll be an excellent bench piece for the Warriors this year. Wanamaker and Bazemore join guards Jordan Poole, Damian Lee, second round pick Nico Mannion, who's on a two-way contract, and of course Stephen Curry to fill out the Warriors guard depth. Now for my Warriors 2021 prediction. Keep in mind, a deadline day deal I don't think is out of the cards for the Warriors. Kevin loves someone they've always wanted, and even though Thompson's hurt, the Warriors are still trying to get the most out of Curry's prime. But in terms of 2021, does the combination of Oubre slash Wiggins replace Clay? No, but it's a pretty damn good alternative. This year, the Warriors are in the exact same situation they were in at the start of last year, with Thompson being out but they're a better team than they were last year, and maybe even a top four seed. However, can they beat the Lakers or Clippers in a best of seven series without Klay Thompson? Not likely. Golden State's championship hopes have been dashed by Klay's Achilles tear, but in Oubre, they found a player that can at least help them make it back to the postseason, 
Assuming they don't make a trade, I'm predicting they finish fourth to sixth place in the Western Conference. It's not the level of success that the Warriors have been accustomed to, but now that Stephen Curry is 32 years old, the Warriors can't afford to waste seasons of his prime anymore, quite simply. They have to try to win now, and this move helps them do so, but don't be surprised if their rookie James Wiseman shows himself as an NBA-ready presence on both ends. Oubre and Wiggins combine for about 40 points, Steph adds 25 per night, and the Warriors find a lethal rhythm in 2021. The question for next video shoutout is, what are you most excited about with the 2021 Warriors? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops. Links are in the description for both those platforms where you can keep up with the channel that's at DFlowHoops. As always, this was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.